guys, it's Becca the Bargainer, and I'm back with a Dollar Tree Stop Haul. Have you guys ever seen any of these these stores around your area? It's like a miniature Dollar Tree in a shopping plaza. Like in my plaza, I have a Target, Bed Bath & Beyond, Babies R Us, Best Buy, and then we have a Dollar Tree Stop. And it's like, yeah, like I said, it's just a mini, mini Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna show you some clips of throughout the store. I'm just going to kind of walk around the store to show you how small it is, and then I'm going to sh share my bargains with you today. Hope you guys enjoy. I just went, ran in there on a Sunday afternoon after church and um, yeah I just picked up some things that I found and it wasn't like a full-blown haul you know so <laughs> not very much to show you but I did get some things that I thought you might like to see and I found a new item that I had never seen before so I hope you enjoy so I did pick up my husband this huge poster and it has it's actually two posters and it says if you think someone could use a friend be one so this is for his classroom and then this one on the back there's there, there's two of them I'm not here to be average I'm here to be awesome yeah so yeah this is a really nice set of posters motivational posters for his classroom so anyway I thought he might like that one and I did find again these little books this is the one I bought the other day, but so I did pick up these other two. I couldn't resist. <laughs> um, these will be for gifts, but this is it says Smile and Dream. And aren't they just the most darling little books? These would be so cute to put in a little Easter basket for, you know, an older girl. Or you can give it as a gift. This would be a great stocking stuffer. They're small enough to fit in a stocking. So, yeah, anyway, I really love these. They're so adorable, and I, I'm looking forward to giving them as gifts in the future. I did pick up two food items that are gone. <laughs> One of them was the Old Orchard Cranberry Juice and this stuff is really good and you can find it cheaper. I did find it in my grocery store one time for like 88 cents or something. Also I got a Reese's Pieces, one of those box candies of Reese's Pieces, but I can't even find the box. I mean I know I didn't eat it. Don't know where it is. I guess I threw it out. <laughs> but yeah those Reese's Pieces actually come in, there's a lot in that box so it's gone. All right, I did find the owls for the first time. They had the lotion and they had the lip balm. And guys, I have so many lip, well, I have so many lip balms. I don't really collect a lot of them, but I have at least six EOS and other chapsticks, and I just don't need any more of that, and I don't want to collect it. But I did pick up the little lotion, and they had them in all different colors. They're so cute. You just unscrew the head, <laughs> and then inside, is like a teeny amount of lotion now I bought this mainly for the packaging because the lotion it's okay like I'm gonna use a little bit right now but my intention is just to empty out this lotion it's just to take it out and put it put my um, Bath and Body Works lotion in here because the lotions really nothing to write home about yeah it's okay it's got an interesting smell I don't even know the smell but it's not bad or anything it's just not the greatest and it kind of tingles on my skin because I've got sensitive skin so I'm gonna empty out the little owl and put some Bath and Body Works lotion in here and then put it in my purse and I'll have a little lotion tin in my purse this is so cute and yeah so I got that one now I did find these gorgeous egg candles and they had all different colors I'll insert a picture of them now so you can see the different colors here it is guys look at the little candle egg it has a little wick on the top of it isn't that the most darling thing so I only got one mainly because that's all I really wanted but I'll probably stick it back here 
on a little candle stand or something like that. Putting it in this little candle holder <laughs> like that. I, I picked these up at Dollar Tree the same day. And um, so I was thinking about this. So what do you think? Does that look ridiculous? Or I was thinking about using these little candle holders as a salt and pepper shaker holder. So just give me a second and I'll show you what I was thinking. I'm almost embarrassed to show you because I think it might be a silly idea, but I thought these looked really cute on there too. What do you think? If you put this on the dining room table as a salt and pepper shaker holder, is that a bad idea? Anyway, if it is, let me know. If, it, if you think it looks cute, let me know too. So, I got those two candle holders that I was going to get. I prefer silver, but they only had one silver, so I got two gold. And this goes with any season. These are just really pretty and would be so much more in like Pier 1 or one of those places. So I did get these two just to have for my decor in my house. And the last two things that I got were clips. I know these, I've bought these clips, I've bought at least five packs of these clips since I started going to Dollar Tree. These things disappear in our house, so I bought two more. We use them for chips, frozen veggies, cereal box, you know, cereal inside the boxes, anything that has to be clipped in our, in our kitchen, that's what we use it for. Now, I hope you stick around because I'm going to show you a couple things that I got at Walmart and some of these things that I got are for, are for this craft that I'm going to be doing, the one that Keeping Up With Miss Electra um, put together, and I'm going to actually do some crafting today. So I just wanted to show you a couple things that I got to complete that craft supply list that I needed. Um, I did get this um, little container of paint. It's a matte acrylic paint, so I'm going to paint the little bunny and just paint it white even though it's already white. I thought it might be nice to have a coat of white on there. And I'm also going to be painting one of these little knobs. Now, um, I think these were both, this was like a dollar something and this was like, what, 88 cents or 50 cents? I think it was 50 cents. So it's pretty inexpensive to get the supplies at Walmart. But I got these little knobs and there's, there's no like screw that goes in the back or anything. They did come with screws, but this is just gonna go on top of it, on, on the very top of the craft be a little knob on the top and the bunny will be inside. It's really a cute, cute craft. I'm going to link her video below and I also want to make that craft so I will uh, let you see it when I'm done. It may be today. I'm not sure. We'll see. But I just wanted to show you the supplies that I got at, at Walmart and then I also picked up a little package of sponges for a dollar forty, I think it was. And yeah, so I have these for crafting. A family member found these little clothespins, these miniature clothespins, and this was only one dollar at Walmart. If I think if it was more than that, it'd be like a dollar twenty-five. But there's this little, these little mini wooden um, clothespins. I know you can get these at Dollar Tree, but I think I saw them one time, and then I never saw them again. So I picked them up at Walmart while I was there. And then Walmart, I was going through their decor. Uh, crafting section and they have this really nice square wreath and it's pretty large look how look how big it is anyway um, yeah it's a pretty big one it's a 16 inch one and I thought I would use this one for a craft that I was going to do as well for summer so it was 247 for this wreath so I picked it up I liked the size of it that was the biggest reason why I bought it and then the last thing that I got at Walmart that day was these little clips for my hair. I thought this might be nice to have. And I really like the, the black one with the flowers on it and then the other black one. I thought that was just really nice and I'll definitely use this. Especially since my hair is shorter, I can just put my hair up in the back like this maybe. Have a little poof, I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, that's my haul from the Dollar Tree spot and our Dollar Tree stop and Walmart. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed and definitely look for these little candles, little egg candles at Dollar Tree. I think they're so, so pretty and have a really nice finish on them, really shiny finish. These are just darlings. If you haven't checked out my The Secret Life of a Dollar Tree Holler tag, it'll be linked below. I've had several people already do the tag, I think it was five or six people have done the tag and have listed their videos under that video on my channel so check out their videos and um, if you haven't done this tag yet you're welcome to it's open to any Dollar Tree hauler out there so thanks so much for watching guys you have a great day 